Hi, I'm Hannah from the Emerald Slipper, and today I'm going to be sharing how I do my everyday makeup look. I start with a clean face and pin my hair back with no crease hair clips from Harry Josh Pro Tools. Next, I wake up my eyes by applying my Tula Glow and Get It Eye Balm. I also make sure my lips are moisturized. Starting with a primer is so important for a smooth and even base for your makeup. I love Unique's Touch Glorious Face Primer. I apply a small amount to my face using my hands and let it set for about a minute. After that is foundation. I use Urban Decay's All Nighter Full Coverage Foundation. Using a little under one pump of foundation on a beauty blender, I use light dabbing motions to blend the product all over my face, under my chin, and in my hair part. This foundation can cover just about anything, stays on all day, and creates a very even skin tone. Then I use my KKW Beauty Concealer to cover any blemishes under my eyes and down the bridge of my nose. I cover my under eye area using KKW Beauty Baking Powder and let it set while I do my brows. Baking helps to mattify your makeup and creates a more finished look. Now for brows. I love Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. Since I have naturally lighter hair, I have never had very visible eyebrows, so I really rely on makeup. After brushing and shaping my brow hairs, I apply a small amount of pomade to the angled brush. Following my natural brow shape, I create the outline of my brow and fill it in using small light strokes. I finish by brushing again to even out the product. Using a powder brush, I dust off the remaining baking powder. For an extra boost under my eyes, I use a small amount of KKW Beauty Brightening Powder. To keep my brows looking great all day, I top them off with some Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Next comes bronzer, blush, and highlighter. I love my Sephora Pro face palette and use the Tarte Bronze and Glow Contour Brush to apply my bronzer. Using the large brush end, I apply a mixture of Muse and Art Deco under my cheekbones, chin, and at the top of my forehead, creating a three shape.
pinching the smaller brush, I apply the same product on both sides and the tip of my nose and in the crease of my eyes to contour. For blush, I mix Glambitious and Really Pretty to put on my cheeks and up my cheekbones with the Eco Tools Blush Brush. To highlight, I use the Sephora Pro Contour Brush to apply a mixture of Hollywood and Paparazzi on top of my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, and on my cupid's bow, eyes, and chin. The Huda Beauty Nude Eyeshadow Palette is my go-to for an everyday eye look. I use the Sephora Pro Tapered Crease Brush to apply shade Secret to the crease of my eyelid. Next, I use the Sephora Pro Shadow Brush to add shade Crave all over my lid. Since this is a shadow with some sparkle, I use soft pressing motions so the glitter will stay where it is supposed to. This creates a soft and shimmery smoky eye. I use the Eco Tools Eye Enhancing Brush to apply shade Bare to the inside corners of my eyes and under my eyebrows. Using the KKW Baking Powder again, I bake along my jawline. This creates a nice line under the bronzer. For the next step, I line my waterline with white eyeliner from Lancome. It helps create the illusion of bigger, more awake eyes. I finish off my eye look with my favorite mascara from Benefit Cosmetics on my lower lashes. Since I have lash extensions on my upper lashes, they just need a quick brushing and are good to go. Now it's time to brush off the excess baking powder and put on my absolute favorite makeup item, lipstick. I'm in love with Smashbox Always On Matte Liquid Lipstick. It comes in so many fun colors and stays on all day. I chose shade Disorderly to complement my burgundy scarf. To finish off the look, I use Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Setting Mist. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe and check out my Instagram at The Emerald Slipper.